Alright, hi guys, I'm going to make my first video today on turning a bit of green wood and turn it down and we're going to hopefully make some mushrooms. Basically, we're going to rough it out and then we're going to make it into a large mushroom shape and then we're going to sand it up and finish it up. This is today's first project. Guys, I've got the piece of wood onto the lathe and we're just about to go. Okay, I've just got the um, piece of wood roughed out now. I had a bit of problems getting it roughed out. I had pit bits of bark flying off. I want the nicest, uh, yeah. So, um, I've got it roughed out now. I'm just going to get this the same diameter as that. So this, if you have a look, slightly wider uh, than this edge here. So I'm going to get it the same diameter, just with a bit more on rough and gouge. Okay, uh probably can't see bits of bark but there were bits of bark that came flying off so yeah I've got lathe here okay got tools underneath there and stuff I've got dust extraction system installed in here got light up there got bench grinder and bench so yeah it's pretty good um I'm gonna get a shed soon so yeah it's gonna be a lot better all videos are gonna be a lot betterly done than these so yeah going back to this I'm just gonna get that same diameter and then I will um, tell you what I'm going to do next after that. Okay so I've roughed that out now I've got it to the same diameter as you can see pretty much there. So now what I'm going to do is mark from about well from there to give me a bit of space and from about there to there okay that's going to be the mushroom so if I just I haven't actually got a pencil because it's gone right down the back here which is a bit of a pain in the ass so I'm gonna just mark this out with a skewer and then I'll uh, be back in one minute so as you can see it's just in three pieces really um, so yeah I'm gonna show you what to do next basically is well, what I'm gonna do make a cove in here okay so way to do that if you don't know how to do that get a uh, um, parting tool part right down the middle of that to the diameter that you want and then with, I like to use a scraper scrape down into the middle and then scrape down into the middle keep doing that until you get it about right okay and then you've got a nice cove then after that because this here is going to be approximately this diameter okay it's just going to get thinner if you go in I'm actually going to with a skew chisel push this in so with the skew it's going to um gonna go in like that, take out a bit of that, so um yeah, you'll see what I've done, okay, and then I'll explain again. Okay, so now I've done that, I've got a um quite a nice cove there that I've done using the parting tool and the round nose scraper. Um so then what I did is got a skew and just went in here and I've actually gone in a little bit. This creates like a, a nice mushroom effect when the top, you know, kind of comes down over the um, like base of it, stalk bit, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so now I've done this, I'm going to work on this bit right here. Okay, and I'll be back in a bit. Right, okay then, guys, I've done quite a lot of that. I've done. Um, yeah, quite a lot since my last um, little clip. So what I've actually done, made that cove quite a lot deeper because I've had a lot of catches with skew chisel on on this. I, I did try to video it, but it didn't save, so a bit annoying. But I've, um, so yeah, mainly been using skew chisel, scraper, and roughing gouge for this. Um... So yeah, it's been pretty good. Um, I've made the cove deeper because, um, well, yeah, because of the the amount of catches that I had, I had to keep going back over it, and I was losing a fair bit of wood. But yeah, you can basically see the shape. It's not massively hard to do. Um, so yeah, the skew chisel have gone in a bit in here. That needs to be slightly finished up actually in there. But um I'm pretty happy how it's come out, to be honest. 
this isn't the best wood to use because this wood is really soft and when I take it inside it will dry out and it crack so there's not much I can actually do to stop it so um yeah that this is the finished piece I'll take it off and we'll see it in more detail okay guys I thought it'd be quite a good idea to show you some of the other ones as well that I've made in the past so I've got this one this is the one I've just made today um, there's quite a few more steps to do on this um, I've got to sand over the ed on edge on the top okay and the whole lot basically you can see a lot of tool marks on there okay next step would be well to sand it up to 320 on all of it okay um, the bit that takes the most time really is sanding over the top on this one I've sanded over the top same on that one this small one it's basically the same you do exactly the same as what I've showed you on here basically um, apart from this is a lot smaller different wood okay that big one there is made out of beech that's oak and that is uh, looks like beech okay so um yeah, finished up with shellac. This one here is the same on both um, sides to it. So you've got like the bottom and the top. You can probably see on this one and this one even that the top is darker. Now that was something I just made up. I thought it looks quite good. So I've put um, more shellac on the top than I have on the bottom. I think actually even on the bottom I haven't actually put any shellac, I've just put some wax on there, beeswax. So yeah, that takes quite a lot of time to sand it all up. And finishing it takes quite a lot of time, you've got to do it in quite a lot of sessions. To get it really good you need quite a few coats. This, I really like this one, it's like a magician's hat or something. It's quite different. And say to that one, and that one, and that one. This one is pretty bad. I was basically just trying to show you how to make it. That is, you can see here that it goes in a bit. On real mushrooms, if you have a look, the top like goes over the bottom bit. So yeah, don't know what that is, but no. Getting a bit flooded, anyway. Okay, so um, videos that are going to be coming up soon are going to be a lot more high quality than this one. Um, you're going to actually see me turning as well because I'm going to get some people to film it because I can't film myself um, turning, so I'm going to get some people to do it so you can actually properly see how to make it, and it's hopefully going to be a lot more enjoyable for you as well. So yeah, that's basically how to make a basic mushroom my way. Okay, thanks for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. Please subscribe and to get more videos. And um, yeah, please comment as well. I'll get back to you, I promise, as well. So um, yeah. Yeah, I'll see you guys next video.